The purpose of this video is, to show you the functionality of our traffic light control system, using the AT Mega 8 microcontroller. The project overview. The hardware part for this project, is a model of four-way junction traffic light. The control program is developed for a main street, south-north, with four intersections, for east-west streets to control their traffic lights. On locations, where each secondary east-west road, intersects the main one, I have two traffic light boxes, each with three light indicators, and a one, two digits countdown meter. Thus, the purpose of the project, is to develop control software, to run all those timers, LED displays, and other traffic light devices in harmony, using an AT Mega 8 microcontroller, see figure 1. Hello, my name is Seyed Reza, and today I would love to talk about this trap, light control system. It was presented to you already on YouTube, the same system with its controller was based out on the Siemens S7300. But today, the controller of this system is based on an Android microcontroller, which is housed inside this pack. The structure of this system is consisted of four intersection between east West streets and one main streets, north south main streets. Each street intersects with the main one, and each of them has one numerical two digits display plus three signal lights. We assume distance between each intersection. The distance between this one and this is assumed to be 5 km and if a car drives with a 30 km per hour, it's going to take about 10 minutes to go from this intersection to the next one. The same distance between the second and third one is 15 km and it takes about 30 minutes to drive from second to third. The distance between third and fourth is assumed to be 20 km and it takes about 40 minutes to drive through with a car with a speed of 30 km per hour. The, the controller is controlling this part of the system that has eight two digits display. It has one six digits display to show the current date and time. Another feature is it's showing the speed of a car which is driving between the first and second intersection. Also, it goes to emergency mode every day from 24 p.m. to 7 a.m. When it goes to emergency mode, all east west street are gonna have red blinking lights and north south street all the intersections are going to show yellow blinking signal lights also the push button is installed on the panel then when it is depressed system goes to emergency mode mandatory. As long as it is not really depressed, 
system stays at this speed. When it's depressed again, it comes out of the moon and continues its normal function. In a short while, I will bring the camera closer to the structure so you can see the details of the project better. As I mentioned already, one of the other features of the system is to show the current time and date. As you see right now, it is 13 p.m. 4 minutes and 4 seconds. System shows the time and starts blinking the, these four LEDs. But when system switches to displaying the date, only one LED is turned on. And again, it circulates back and forth, showing the current time date. Right now, again, as you see, it is 13.04, 35 minutes. And it shortly, it's going to switch to showing the date. It's date showing the date, it's September 10, 13, 2013. And back to showing the current time. As I mentioned already, by this emergency push button, when you depress it, it goes to emergency mode. Right now, notice that all East West streets are showing uh, the signal lights turn to blinking red, and in the same time. All the uh, north south intersection signal lights change to yellow. As you notice, from first intersection to the second one, we are assuming that the distance is about five kilometers. So if a car drives with 30 km per hour, it's going to take him about 10 minutes to, to go from first intersection light to the second. The distance between second and third one is 15 km. So if, if somebody drives with a speed of 30 km per hour, it's going to take him about 30 minutes. And the distance between third and fourth intersection is 20 km. So for a car traveling with a 40, uh, with 30 km per hour, it's going to take him 40 minutes. And these are the distances that, based upon these distances, uh, the, the program, the software is designed such that if a driver traveling from first intersection and continues to the second and third and fourth, he's going to receive green light if he drives with uh, 30 km per hour. Assuming that the distance between the first IR sensor and the second IR sensor is about 100 meters. We can simply measure the speed of a car which is passing by these sensors from first intersection to the second and show the related speed of the car on this two-digit display. Let's assume this piece of wood is a car and it is passing in front of the first IR sensor. Notice that the time right now is passing and it is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and let's say at the 14 or 15 second 
it passes the second one. System measures, the controller measures the speed of the car and it is 21 kilometer per hour right now. And because it is under 30, so the driver is gonna receive a green light, which is okay. But let's assume the second experiment, the piece of wood takes about 3-4 seconds, no more than that, and passes by these two sensors. It is over 99 km per hour, that's why the driver is getting uh, weird looking characters on the display and also a uh, red light. In another experiment, let's say, say that car is passing again from the first one and it takes about, let's say, 7-8 seconds and the driver is passing by with a speed of 48 km per hour and still he gets a red light. The ebook for this title is prepared in two chapters and 51 pages. It explains the detail of the system hardware and software. All main control program solutions are prepared in C language for both at Mega 8 microcontroller and the Arduino Mega 2560 development board. You receive all these software solutions upon the purchase of the ebook and you will not need to develop any code to get the project running. Chapter 1 explains the project's specification, the detailed explanation of all schematics related to the system hardware implemented in this project for at Mega 8 microcontroller. The topics related to the speedometer, IR sensor, time and date display PCBs are fully explained, and finally, a complete explanation of the control code generated in C language for at Mega 8 microcontroller is given. Chapter 2 explains the developing process of the hardware and software generated for the same project, but this time implementing the Arduino Mega 2560 development board in detail to construct the same project. Topics related to the redesign of stoplight boards, the speedometer display board, the main LCD display board, etc. are all investigated in this chapter. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then click subscribe and like buttons below and share it with your friends. Also, tell us your opinion on this video in the comment section below.